Fisheries have an important place in the development and nutrition of human beings. While fish living in the seas are the leading fish in the consumption of aquatic products, freshwater fish and other sea creatures are also consumed excessively. The habitats of fish are seas and freshwaters. As marine fish, we can give examples of bonito, anchovy, mackerel, and salmon, while we can give examples of freshwater fish such as trout, hemp, and carp. There are different features that distinguish fish. These features significantly affect the way they are cooked, the way they are cleaned, and their taste. The first feature we benefit from when distinguishing fish from each other is the color of their flesh. White fleshed fish are less oily and easier to digest. As examples of white fleshed fish, we can give examples of turbot, mullet, swallow, and mullet. Black fleshed fish are oily. The cooking method is generally preferred as grilling. For black fleshed fish, we can give examples of anchovy, horse mackerel, and mackerel. The second feature we use to distinguish fish is their scales. Fish are divided into fish with scales and fish without scales. While scaly fish are examples of red mullet, sardine, and sea bass, we give examples of scaleless fish such as turbot, swallow, and angler. Fish do not have connective tissues. Short fibers form the muscle structure. This structure causes the meat to be brittle and easily turns into gelatin. These short muscle fibers and gelatin give the fish softness. Because of this structure, overcooked fish disperses easily. The quality of fish is determined by factors such as type, way of catching, nutrition, and freshness. Fish is very rich in nutritional value. Fish contains plenty of protein and vitamins such as A, B1, D. Since sugar and starch are very low, it can be digested more easily and quickly than other foods. Fish do not contain carbohydrates. For this reason, the energy of a fish consists of protein and fats. The energy that fish meat will give varies according to the amount of protein and fat it contains. There are elements that we need to pay attention to in order to consume a fish safely. Stale fish can poison the human body very easily, and these poisonings can cause serious problems. We can tell the freshness of the fish by looking, smelling, and touching it. Fresh fish never have a bad smell, scales and eyes are bright, their abdomen is flat, the gills are red, and they do not collapse in when we press them with our hands. Purchased fish should be stored between 0 and 4 degrees until consumed. If we want to store it for a long time, we can use freezing, salting, or drying methods at minus 18 degrees. In the freezing process, 3 to 6 months, smoked fish can be stored at 0 degrees for 3 to 6 months. Fish has a unique smell and taste. Different marinations are applied to the fish to lighten its smell and add flavor to its taste. The most common marinade is done with salt. Salt marinade is applied to the fish raw before cooking. Fish can be soaked in salt or rubbed with salt. Olive oil is also frequently used to add flavor to fish. Care should be taken when cooking fish. Fish should not be cooked too much and on high heat. If it is overcooked, loss of taste and deformity will occur. Depending on their type, fish are cooked by methods such as boiling, baking, frying, steaming, and grilling. Low-fat fish is suitable for steaming, boiling, and deep frying. Oily fish, on the other hand, are mostly grilled and baked in the oven. While the fish cooked with the right technique is accompanied by sauces such as Mornay sauce, Burr sauce, Liaison sauce, Garnishes that fill the plate and balance the nutritional elements are also added to the plate. Potatoes, carrots, beans, fennel, arugula, and pickled onions accompany the fish. Consuming fish in season and using the right cooking technique takes the taste of food to the next level. The fish caught in the season are an ideal size and taste. By reducing the consumption of out-of-season fish, we can also prevent a bit of wrong fishing.